Nano 3D elevating to three dimensions. Laboratories engage in basic life science research, drug discovery, and tissue engineering use the bioassembler from Nano 3D Biosciences to culture cells in three dimensions. This user-friendly technology yields cultures that more closely resemble in vivo tissue in both form and function. It's as easy as conventional 2D methods and requires a fraction of the setup and tissue assembly time than any other 3D method. No artificial gels or scaffolds are used and no expensive equipment is required. Versions of the bioassemblers are available in single well, six well, 24 well, and 96 well formats. Our kits contain a small number of plastic culture plates, instruction manuals, nano shuttle PL reagent, and reusable magnetic drives that will be placed above the plastic culture plates to levitate the cells to form 3D structures. 24 well and 96 well kits come with a reusable culture isolation lid that allows the magnets to get closer to the cells. Dr. Glauco Souza, Chief Science Officer of Nano 3D Biosciences and lead developer of the technology, demonstrates how easy it is to grow cells in three dimensions using the Nano 3D Bioassembler. Nano 3D customers are always amazed when they learn that they can grow 3D cultures of virtually any cell type by adding only two simple steps to their standard 2D culturing process. Here we'll grow 3D cultures with our 24 well bioassembler. The process is similar regardless of the well count. Start with a flask of your cell type in whatever media you typically use and culture the cells to close to confluence following your standard culturing protocols. We first treat the cells with Nano Shuttle PL reagent to introduce a small amount of biocompatible magnetic nanoparticles to the cells. Homogenize Nano Shuttle PL in its vial by pipetting it up and down at least 10 times. Add Nano Shuttle PL and gently agitate the flask to evenly distribute. Place treated cells into the incubator for at least six hours or overnight using your lab's standard cell culture incubation conditions. After the incubation with Nano Shuttle PL, remove media and perform a PBS wash. The PBS wash will remove any residual media and unbound Nano Shuttle PL. After adding PBS to the flask, gently agitate it. We recommend 5 milliliters of PBS for a T25 flask and 10 milliliters for a T75 flask. Next, remove the PBS with a pipette and discard it. Here we see a common cell type, Huvec, in a flask after the PBS wash. The slight darkening of cells indicates the uptake of biocompatible nanoparticles that are required for levitation. Cells must now be detached from the flask. We recommend adding enough trypsin EDTA solution to cover the adhering cell layer. Since cell detachment protocols are cell type specific, we suggest following your lab's established protocol. While waiting for the cell to detach, clean the magnetic drives. If using the 2496 well formats, clean the culture isolation lid with 70% ethanol and dry under sterile conditions. It is important that the lid is completely dry before placing the lid. If needed, the lids can also be autoclaved up to five times. We recommend checking that the cells are adequately detached using an inverted microscope. Proceed quickly to the next step since, as in normal cell culturing procedures, the trypsin EDTA solution can adversely affect the cells if left too long. Next, deactivate the trypsin EDTA solution by adding media containing serum or trypsin deactivating solution. You should make sure that the volume added is at least 10 times more than the volume of trypsin EDTA that was used. Some cell types may require centrifuging to assure trypsin is removed prior to levitating cells, such as cells cultured in serum-free media. Now draw the cell suspension with a sterile pipette. Expel the suspension back into the flask to rinse the inside surfaces. Repeat at least five times. Check again under a microscope to ensure the cells are in suspension. Redraw the entire cell suspension into the pipette. At this time, the cells should then be counted. If needed, dilute or concentrate detached cells to obtain desired cell concentration. Transfer 300 to 400 microliters of cells and media to each microwell.
depending on the cell properties and experiment, between 1,000 and 100,000 cells per well is optimum. We encourage you to experiment within this range to find your ideal cell number, such as performing a serial dilution of cells. On the 24-well and 96-well bioassemblers, carefully place the culture isolation lid. Then place a driver assembly on the microwell plate with the nano shuttle PL treated cells. Gently agitate the plate with a side to side motion for three seconds, taking care as to not splash the cells on the top cover. Place a clear lid on top of the magnet drive. Labels may be written on this surface. The time between adding the cell suspension to the wells and placing the magnetic drivers on the plate should be kept to a minimum, less than a few minutes for optimal results. You can now place a bioassembler into the incubator. Here are time-lapse images of a culture of lung adenocarcinoma cells, starting moments after placement of the magnet. In any format of the bioassembler, within a very short time, cells will be levitated to the air-liquid interface and concentrated under the magnets. And 3D cellular structures will begin to form. Cell-cell interactions will typically determine the tissue microstructure within a few hours of levitation. Here are levitated human umbilical vein cells after 4 hours of levitation. Here is a sample of human primary lung cells after 24 hours of levitation. Nano 3D cell culturing by magnetic levitation is much faster than any other product on the market. One advantage of the system is that you can remove the Nano 3D bioassembler from the incubator at any time for diagnostics or the addition of new reagents. Just take care that the cellular structures are not disturbed. Cells can be visualized using a standard inverted optical microscope without removing the magnetic driver and isolation lid. We demonstrate this with a 24-well bioassembler. Position the 24-well plate with the magnetic drive on the microscope stage and pass light through the opening in the center of the magnet over the well of interest. Using 4, 10, or 20 times magnification, it should be possible to visualize levitating 3D cell cultures. The ability to magnetically manipulate cells enables media to be changed very easily. Remove the magnetic drive and isolation lid. Place the magnetic drive under the bottom of the 24-well plate. The exposed sides of the magnets should now be oriented in the up position, which will hold the cells in place. Carefully remove the old media with a pipette so the 3D structures are not lost. Now add 300 microliters of fresh media. When finished, replace the magnets on the top of the culture plate and the cells will levitate again. For the most delicate 3D structures that float at the media surface, media may be exchanged very carefully without placing the magnet underneath. Guiding cells to the bottom can also be useful for high resolution imaging such as confocal or deconvolution microscopy. Co-culturing different cell types is easy with the bioassembler. By following this simple procedure, your lab is now ready to conduct research on a lifelike three-dimensional grouping of cells, with only a few minutes added to your culturing and preparation time. Contact Nano 3D Biosciences today for more information. Future applications are being developed and are coming soon to the market, such as label-free assays, co-culturing, magnetic manipulation, and invasion. Don't miss out on the opportunity to apply for the Mad Scientist Travel Grant, sponsored by N3D. For more information, visit madscientistn3d.com.